This is Rebecca Moore from the Overlake School Library. Today I'm book talking The Vanderbeekers of 141st Street by Karina Jan Glazer. December 20th. In the middle of a quiet block on 141st Street in Harlem, inside a brownstone made of deep red shale, the Vanderbeeker family gathered in the living room for a family meeting. Their pets, a dog named Franz, a cat named George Washington, and a house rabbit named Paganini, sprawled on the carpet, taking afternoon naps in a strip of sunlight. The pipes rumbled companionably within the brownstone walls. Mama looked at her five children, from 13-year-old Jesse to 4-year-old Lainey. Tell me, on a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you love living here, she asked. A million, said Oliver. It's the best place in the world, said Lainey. Well, their father said with a sigh, I'm afraid Mr. Biederman just told me he's not renewing our lease. How many of you really love your homes? Well, the Vanderbeekers love theirs, but their curmudgeonly landlord has just given them 10 days to move out at Christmas time. The Vanderbeeker kids aren't about to let that happen. They decide they have to prove to Mr. Biederman that they're worth keeping. They come up with scheme after scheme, like giving him presents, getting the neighbors to sign a petition, and finding out more about the Biederman. But how can they ever succeed against a man who once threatened to call the police if Issa, who was six years old at the time, didn't stop playing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star on her violin. They've got their work cut out for them for sure. If you like the Penderwicks, you'll like the Vanderbeekers. The Vanderbeekers of 141st Street by Karinian Glazer.